Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 for the Jedi Knight Star Wars The Old Republic playthrough. Uh, we're currently making our way to recover a key from the Flesh Raiders. Uh, apparently they might be working with the Sith currently. So that is where we're at. Uh, we're picking up right where we left off for part 1. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. With that said, if you guys enjoy the uh, Let's Play, definitely leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and let me know if you got any suggestions, comments, whatever the case may be for this playthrough, or just in general, because it's been a little bit since I uh, jumped in. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I got. <laughs> so just clearing out this cave i literally just logged in uh instead of recording like from me walking from the last area to here i just decided to to wait until we got into the cave and then and now that we're in here we can kind of go through it now it looks like yeah there it is the end of the hallway is our phase and now we've got some enemies in here now, if you don't remember, or if you didn't watch episode one, I, I did create this Jedi Knight with the Juggernaut combat playstyle. Uh, that's something that's I've been wanting to try out for quite a while now. Now I am, I'm not a subscriber currently at the time of recording this, so I'm just using the one playstyle. But in the future, I will probably add in a light, quotation mark, light uh, combat style. I'm thinking either the Sage or uh, the Assassin, not the Assassin, but whatever the, the other version is for the light side. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Someone clean up this mess. Very good. Let's unlock the tech cache. And here it is. All right, so we either need to decide if we want to take it back to them or destroy it. Take it for the villagers or sabotage it to kill enemies or leave it alone. <laughs> this cache contains weapons and technology the flesh raiders use to raid and hunt the Twi'leks. Sabotage it to kill enemies. Take it for the villagers. Um. Let's sabotage it. I wish I could see the flesh raiders' faces when this stuff blows up on them. E seven. Glad to see Jedi. Captured by Flesh Raiders, plus needs re rescuing. Tell me the whole story, and more slowly this time. T7 equals Jedi Reconnaissance Droid. Mission preparation. Okay, I didn't even get to read all that. <laughs> Unable to detect Flesh Raider ambush. What made the Flesh Raiders bring you back here? Advanced Astromech Droid. Very valuable. Recorded Flesh Raider allies. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. I never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway. Ready the roll. Okay. Finally, we got our first uh, companion, official companion now. I was using Shay Vizsla for a little bit since I've had her as an unlock for quite a while now. And now we can actually, can we fast travel over there? Yeah, it's a little bit closer by going to the Alakori village speeder. And we're returning to the matriarch now, Samari. Which I believe she's like sick or something. Uh, yesterday, when after I finished recording the video, um, I ended up figuring out how to turn off the HUD. And man, this game looks so beautiful without any of the HUD. It's so simple, and uh, I love it still to this day. She died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her. I'm sorry, Salu. We all. 
Uh, let me, I think I kind of bugged it now. <laughs> there we go. Now we can uh, enter a conversation. She died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her. I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten. No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? <laughs> Don't lecture me, Jedi. My wife is dead. Our people slaughtered. Where were you then? I sabotage the Flesh Raiders' weapons. They'll pay for what they've done. Sabotage? It's not enough. It will never be enough. The Flesh Raiders won't stop until we're all dead. Are you going to let that happen? Perhaps your people would be safer if you left Tython. This is our home. No Flesh Raider or Jedi will drive us out. You made a good point. Shame he's too stubborn to hear it. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person. And Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. This droid says he works for the Jedi. Is that true? Yes, he's one of our long-range probes. We sent out 20. This is the only one to come back. Hey. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. Okay. Uh, before we do that, let me actually check. So I, I'm starting to feel like my guy's uh, outfit is a little bit too much red. So I'm thinking of either changing to the Eradicator suit or uh let's see what else do we have in here i could always unlock hk oh wait no that's the hk customization uh we do have a few mounts in here there's this one what would he look like in this i mean that is pretty cool what else do we have Dark Legion, we have Revanite. I do have a few uh, Revan outfits here as well. Don't meet the requirements. Okay, so we can't claim that just yet, but in the future. What's the other Revan outfit that I have? Ah, uh, the Revan Reborn. The only thing is the textures for this one's a little weird, in my opinion. The Vindicator could be a good one. Champion armor. I mean, honestly, any one of these would be good. But let's actually try... Where did I put it? Oh, we have some dyes. Oh, my God. Okay, dyes the wrong things. I just feel like I have a lot of black and red going on. I mean, it works, I guess. It's just a little much. Um, I guess for now we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. One of our scouts watched from a distance while you invaded the Flesh Raider camp. He said you defeated many of them. Let me know in you the comments though if you guys got any suggestions. People haven't had a for outfits. for some time. I'll be your champion whenever you need one. <laughs> oh, I um I should give you the information you requested. Morant, report. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi temple. Kaleth was a great city of force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the council. That hooded figure in the holo, I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. Do whatever it takes to push the Flesh Raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. You aren't gonna tell me what's happening? Take too long. Just be aware that Kaleth is a place of great danger. If you see that hooded figure from the holo, do not engage him. I get going. 
Okay. Uh, I guess I'll do my best. I do my best not to. I find battle jacket. I'm still going to hold on to what I currently have. Welcome to the Galactic Stronghold. Oh, okay. Interesting. I still can't believe I'm I'm just amazed that that taking turning off your helmet is a subscriber unlock. I can't believe that. I mean, I could unlock it for all my characters, but I know in the future I'll I will become a subscriber again, so that's why I'm kind of holding off on it. You are for the I the think traveling down here. Yep, Be there we go. Ever since they, uh, or not ever since, but I know recently they had an update. Uh, when 7.0 came out, that's when they allowed it for you to change your combat styles. Uh, and then you do have to be a subscriber to select the second combat style. But at the time of that, when I played, um, they didn't have the possibility of using uh, the weapon outfitter. I believe that's out now though. So now you can, if we get like a cool weapon, we can actually use the cosmetic of it, although we have a different one equipped. Um, so I'm, I'm actually kind of excited to use that because I, I think I have some cool lightsabers available. But uh, we'll, we'll see on that. Now I know right now I'm kind of negative for the dark side or light, light side. Yeah, no. We are on the dark side <laughs> right now, but I think in the future we might Ready. start making good choices and then later on down the road maybe make some bad ones. Depending on what there is. Was that? Oh, that was that person's Shavizla too. All right, over to the ancient ruins we go. I wonder if I even have any weapons that I can use right now. Lightsaber. Yeah, there's one right here actually, but it's a dual saber. What happens? Requires dual saber. Okay. I can't use that currently. Darth Vindicans. do have some other at some point i'll probably have to get a new color i have this uh red one which i'll definitely use at some point but i don't know if i'll use it right away for this character yet uh purple yeah we got purple actually okay maybe i don't have any lightsabers i have a few weapons sniper rifles because over the years i always wanted to use them but never got around to it so i guess uh we might have to get a I'll do some shopping around and find a lightsaber once we once we actually get one in game. But I'll I'll probably do that shopping off uh, out of the video. That way I'm not spending like 30 minutes just looking for a lightsaber. Explore the ancient shrine. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. So pretty. Less Raider Chieftain. Did you just call me Jedi? <laughs> Whoa! Jedi. 
Master Orgus sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? <laughs> when was the last time you fought someone trying to kill you? Besides my master? Eh, a few months. This is no laughing matter, Padawans. <laughs> This Flash Raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a Force user. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orgus was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. What do the Flesh Raiders have against us? From their perspective, we've invaded their home. But there's more to this than a territorial dispute. I wish we could stay, see this through. But Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic Capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. These surveillance monitors will keep watch on Kaleth, place them around the ruins. The Temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. Maybe we'll get lucky, find their leader. May the Force be with you, Padawan. Okay. Well, we got a plan there. Plant the device in sector one, two, and three. Can we actually run up this? Almost. Almost. <laughs> there we go. I definitely, I don't remember when the last time I played this storyline, but I definitely kind of remember it a, a little bit. Um, I think I might have created like three Jedi Knights in the past, but then like once we get out of chapter one, I think that's where it's going to be a little bit hazy because uh, it's been a very long time. I used to, back in the day, um, I used to, every time there was a two times XP event going on, that's when I would uh, log back in, create a new character, and work on the next uh, storyline. Back then I wasn't recording or doing like videos or really streaming as much. So I would log in, uh, work on that stuff, because back then you actually couldn't just play. Nowadays you can play through just the main story and pretty much stay leveled or, or very closely leveled. You might have to do like one or two flashpoints uh, to kind of like over level you or prepare you for a mission if it's a little bit too hard. But most of the time you can go the story all the way through without having to do any extra content. Back then, I would really only play class storylines during double XP because that would always keep you just a little bit over leveled um, or sometimes depending on it um, it'd be like perfect you you're right on uh, schedule so that's what I would always do personally uh, whenever there was an event I'd log in for a few hours either create a character or continue a character and then I would within that two weeks like XP uh, double XP week I would do my very best to try to finish it. <clears throat> and it was it was always fun. I highly and I still recommend it to this day. All the playing at least every storyline once is worth it in my opinion because it really is set up as if it's a single player game. It's so good. <laughs> And then, if you really like a class or a character you're playing as, continue on, do the expansions, and the expansions are just as good. Um, at, at least for the first three. Nowadays, they're not I'm really expansions, to be honest. It. 
I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. I'm already on my way. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Org us out. Alright, let's return to Master Orgus. Where is he at? He's over at the village again. Like we got a supply pack here. Can I open it up? Uh, it's not. Oh wait, it's not actually a supply pack. They use that same logo for sometimes. Like the missions will give you items to be able to use or uh, upgrade your equipment. Master Kiwix told me what you found in Kalef, a flesh raider who used the Force. He thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived. His lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's holo recording confirmed my suspicions. <laughs> the hooded figure in that recording is named Bengal Moore. He was my Padawan, but he never completed his training. Bengal was in the Jedi Temple hmm. on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. He waited a long time to reveal himself. Still don't understand why he just disappeared doesn't make sense. Bengal was strong in the Force, and the most gentle being I've ever known. For him to turn against the Jedi, he has to be stopped. Apologies for keeping you waiting. Our people's matriarch, my mother, is dying. You should be at her side. You're kind, but my mother wants me here. My scouts have identified a flesh raider command base in the mountains. It's protected by an energy shield. The shield's power generator is hidden on a different mountain, in a well-guarded cave network. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? You'll need backup. Can't we send someone else to handle the power generator? You've shown you can handle flesh raiders. We need you there. Hmm. See if you can give the droid an opening to gather more intelligence. Hmm. That energy shield is your top priority. Knock it out fast as you can. Okay. Level 7, wow. Getting up there already. We don't have the droid with us yet, right? Nah. Shut down the energy shield. Okay. So, now it's in the bottom right of the map go ahead and make our way there i keep thinking that the taxi is right here but it's not <laughs> hop on to the speeder this should take us a little bit closer i think it's the closest one although the path right here might have actually taken me there but Yes, I'm hoping that these both kind of lead into the same area. Okay, here we go. Good old numlock for some auto run. Actually, kind of excited now to look at uh, whatever options there are for for the uh, lightsaber. I don't think I've ever I've never been able to use a custom one in the past, just because they're, they're so tedious for constantly like as you're leveling, you constantly had to swap out the mods to be able to use that one and and keep it relevant for your mission. Um, I really hope this way is the correct way, but it looks like it might be. Yeah. Let's see. So if I go down here, oh, maybe not. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm going the wrong way. 
I don't know why I was going this way instead of that way. Okay, well, looks like we're uh, backtracking a little bit. It's one thing is there, there's some maps for this game that can get a little bit confusing. Uh, Hoth can be one of those where you, sometimes you don't know whether you should be on the top or the bottom. Because uh, there are some areas that like there's a giant quarry or, um, or caves that you should walk through. Quesh, I think, has some, some things like that too. If I'm not mistaken might be a different uh different map but but back to the lightsabers yeah so i never really got to use any of the the custom ones because the mods that you had um you always had to put in three different mods to give it the lightsaber its stats and the only way to make it relevant is by constantly upgrading those mods if you didn't constantly upgrade those mods, then you'd hit, you'd most likely be doing a story mission where the story mission is going to give you a base lightsaber that is going to be pretty much way better than your, uh, your modded lightsaber. Unless if you're fully equipped to use that modded lightsaber. The face of the enemy. Someone clean up this mess. Not even a challenge. And stay down. Typically, when it comes to MMOs, I'm usually like a ranged person, but however, for, for whatever reason, I love the way that uh, Star Wars, or well, SWOTOR handles the melee combat. It's always felt so good. I don't know if it's just because of the, the lightsaber, like it's just a lightsaber, but like, it, say if I was playing WoW or Guild Wars 2 or any of those other ones, like, being a warrior or a paladin, somebody with a giant sword is never really like super appealing to me in my, in my opinion. Um, maybe I haven't really given a chance to them, but for Swotor, I, it, it might just be the lightsaber side of it. It could be, but it, it's always been uh, a fun time creating a character. And, and I like how there's a lot of them that have like kind of a mix between range and and melee like the assassin uh uses a lot of lightning abilities and the sage uses like rocks uses the force to throw rocks at people Someone clean up this mess. <sighs> Uh, blast the target. Okay, I haven't really been looking over my abilities just yet, but that's okay. We're very early on still, so it's not like a huge issue or anything. I also remember when you used to have to equip all your companions with equipment. To give them stats now they just have their base stats uh which is in my opinion much better and they also uh at one point companions were locked for only being like one companion would would only be a healer a tank or a damage dealer so i would always uh prefer the, the healers because they literally would keep you alive um, which of course is expected, but every time I, in the previous, like before they changed it to now you can make any companion, any healer, damage, or uh, tank before they changed it to that. If, even if I ran with a heal, a uh, damage dealing companion, every time after you're done fighting, you would have to channel your hatred or use whatever your uh, regeneration ability is and it would take up so much time because you're just constantly healing yourself 
Hmm. Bingo. You must be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. Your time is over. Master Orgus is looking for you, Bengal. Orgus won't find me. I'll find him. You executed my apprentice, Caliph. I can feel his death on you. I spent years training him. He was a good man, a principled man. Proud of yourself? Your student was a killer. He was attacking young Padawans. I gave Caliph too much responsibility too soon. His impatience for justice was his only failure. Every so-called Jedi on Tython is going to die. That's a promise. Your entire order is weak. You've done nothing to stop the Sith Empire's advances. Don't give in to hatred, Bengal. Let us help you. Help me become a coward like you? I'm the only true Jedi left in the galaxy. Enjoy this little victory. It's your last. Okay. Well, that was, uh... I guess a little... Underwhelming, but... <laughs> I guess we'll see. I was thinking about... I forget what that guy's, um... What that the race's name is, or species... Um, I was thinking, I was really close to creating one of those as my character. Um, what is it called? Trying to remember cartel market. Let's see, which by the way, um, I said this yesterday to, at some point in the video, but if you do join my discord, I, uh, there's a slow tour channel every day. It posts whatever this is. So whatever the current flash sale that's happening, it gets posted instantly into uh, there's a bot that does it and you can see what's currently available. Um, but here, let me see. Not a lot or not to loan. Um, I think whenever I create a consular, that's when I might make a, uh, a not a lot. I shut down the energy shield. Any word on Master Orgus's mission? No, my mother. She found peace during your absence. I am now Matriarch. You don't have to go through this alone. People who say Jedi have no feelings are wrong. Before he left, Master Orgus told me there is no death. There is the Force. He believes our essence lives on when we die and merges with the Force. I hope that's true. Matriarch! Flesh Raiders broke through our defenses. They did something to our crop fields. They dropped strange machines in the soil. When a scout approached one, he collapsed with sickness. He crawled away from the device and began to recover, but there are many more machines still out there. I've never heard of anything like this before. If these machines can poison us, they can destroy our crops as well. Please help us. Jedi are strong. You can resist the machines and destroy them. I hope that turns out to be the case. If I've learned anything, it's that Jedi succeed where others fail. Hurry to the fields. I fear we don't have much time. Okay. And it looks like we'll be heading to the fields. But, for now, uh, there's a few things that I have to get done. So this is where this part is going to end. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions for this playthrough. Uh, I'd be glad to hear them. For now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.